The first state tournament was played at Carleton College in 1913 as Faustin beat Mountain Lake 29-27. The win was considered a complete surprise because Faustin was one of the smallest schools from one of the smallest towns in the tournament. Also, Faustin didn't even have a coach, which was actually common during that time. Well, you know, basketball was a, a brand new sport in, in the 1890s, 1900s, and schools really didn't even have sports uh, on their uh, agenda uh, initially. They didn't have the money, they didn't have the expertise, they didn't have the staff. At the first tournament in 1913, a committee formed to assure there would be another tournament in 1914 and beyond. And Carleton professor Fred B. Hill is elected as its chairman. This committee later becomes the Minnesota State High School League. The committee established eligibility rules and other matters. Some of the um, people at the time, including uh, Mr. Hill, felt that, um, you know, maybe it's time for us to organize something so that we can set some standards that everybody's going to have to live by. And sure enough, by 1916, the Minnesota State High School Athletic Association was created, and it was the forebear of what we have today. I think this led the way to more organization to gain some sort of control in regards to eligibility issues, consistent rules, and some of those kinds of things, which helped. Virginia's 1916 championship established the Iron Range as a colorful and competitive presence at the state tournament. Prior to the tourney, they were warned against playing rough because that was the perception of the teams from the range. From 1913 through the 1950s, at least one Iron Range team won a state title in each decade. Teams from the uh, Iron Range, uh, you know, were uh, very competitive uh, right from the very beginning. Virginia won the fourth tournament in 1916, and between then and 1951, there were six Iron Range champions. So the Iron Range was always very competitive throughout the single class era. 